You know, Your Majesty, you can still back out of this. We could turn back right now, give a gold mine or two to the king, and call it a day. For the last time, I'm not turning back. Marrying the king is the best way to solve all these money problems. The people need to eat. I'm not going back. Ah, <sighs> Your Majesty, you are too noble for your own good. At least, this king doesn't seem bad. Exactly. He's a hero to his people, a wonderful and capable king. And he isn't twice my age. You should be rejoicing over this. I know, I know. I should be. I'm just sad you'll be leaving us. I'm not leaving you. Once our kingdoms are joined, you and all the others will be able to visit me whenever you want to. That would only take, hmm, three to five years, maybe? And that's such a long time. Really, the kingdom may fall apart without you. Now that's being dramatic. I left my work to capable people. You and the council know what you're doing. You'll be fine, trust me. I don't think so. You may be able to do the work, but you're the face of the monarch. Europeans at all these different events are what make them special. Hello, Your Majesty. I'm Queen Kyoko of the Southern Empire, and I'm here to respond to your marriage proposal. It's nothing. Forgive me. You just look quite familiar. Alright, well, I'm here to respond to your marriage proposal. <clears throat> I have agreed to your proposal and the unification of our... I'm sorry, I have to ask. Have I seen you somewhere before? Well, it's just that I've definitely seen you before. Have you ever been to the Southern Empire? As a boy? How many years ago? Seven? There's no way. Y you're Ren. You taught me how to use a sword when I escaped from the palace. It don't make sense now. You told me you were an important person, but that you couldn't stay for long because it wasn't your home or something. Yes, Ruby. That was my code name. Just like yours was Ren. I can't believe it's you. It's been so long, but... I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So, you're the king? You were hiding in the Southern Empire for a while? I guess that makes sense. Your uncle was trying to get rid of you so he could take the crown for himself. Then I have to ask, did you know who I was? No? So this really was a coincidence? How interesting. But I guess if fate has tied us together like this, who are we to resist? <laughs> I'm so relieved it's you. You have no idea. You are too? Isn't this just the best? Even if you don't end up falling in love and everything, I think I can live with being good friends. Why wouldn't we fall in love? I don't know. I'm just saying that. At least we won't be uncomfortable with each other or anything. Um, not opposed to love or anything. Good? What do you mean, good? Tell me what you're planning, come on. A ball? Tonight? Of course. I guess I do need to be formally announced as your fiancé. It'll also be our first date? Date? An actual date? You're quite interesting, your majesty. I guess you have changed a lot from when you were a child. Back then, if I even said love out loud, your face would explode and become red. You're not a kid anymore? Well, I can see that. Why are you so close? I'll get going now. I need to get ready for the ball and everything. You know, pick out a dress to decide on shoes. Pick me up in my room. Got it? Okay, I'll be waiting. <laughs> 